friends welcome back to my channel it's just shacks to you today i'm gonna be sharing a core cool workout i'm gonna add a timer see if you can follow along all right for those of you at home i set the timer up we're just doing leg extensions and i decided to add a weight just to create a little more resistance um if you have a five pound at home or a 10 pound just keep pulling up try closing your body like a suitcase remember to breathe through it whatever surface you're on holds on tight and keep going remember you're halfway there now you only needed to make it to 30 seconds i actually included tucks right tuck your knees into your chest pull it together same way just like a suitcase keep going you just hit 30 seconds if you need a break you can take it but if you continue do that and try to remember to keep your legs as straight as possible see that weight makes it increasingly difficult all right y'all round two let's go again remember we're only shooting for 30 seconds leg extensions try to keep your knees straight with that additional weight it's going to be pretty hard but try your best and we're just going to continue going make sure your grip is good you're connecting with what you're feeling your core should be feeling pretty tight pretty exhausted and your legs too this ends up being a really good leg workout now we're gonna do the tucks again let's go you are ready you're done at home if you're only doing 30 seconds you're done but for those of you that want to continue keep going keep going this it's burning but it's supposed to and that's how we get stronger okay guys we're going into round three and these are leg extensions in this movement, I'm just adding the weight to my core, just so I'm cognizant of the fact that my abs are engaged throughout the whole movement. If you're in the house, you could do this on the floor, hold onto the sofa, and you're just gonna go for leg extensions. Some Put something on the surface of your tummy, just so you know you're, you're remaining balanced, you're not knocking that weight off. Remember, we're only going for 30 seconds, and if it's burning, don't rush through the movement. Like, dance in the pain, feel it. That pain is where you grow. So if you're at home, get yourself in a comfortable position maybe put a mat under the floor so you know you don't hurt your back at all and keep going hold on tight with your hands whatever it takes look you just reached the 30 second mark if you can continue by all means do so but all you needed was 30 seconds so i guess we're gonna go into the 40 second mark and still going now we're gonna go into the obliques these are like windshield wipers remember the weight is there so we're keeping the abs tight but we are really targeting the obliques. You just go side to side. There's no rush. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see what's happening to my obliques at my back. This is excellent to build that internal corset. You're really activating your transverse muscle groups. And this is going to get you snatched. All you got to do is 10. We're almost there. Oh, you just did 10. Perfect. All right, guys. Don't kill me if you're at home. We're going to go into the tucks. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten all right a little hold and scissors okay try to go work your way up and low nice and slow through the movement this is really targeting your lower um abdomen that little v-shape that's leading up to your jj that'll get nice and break Okay, friends, it's round five. We only have to do 30 seconds. Timer started. These are Russian twists. Add the weight to your ankles if you really want to make it challenging. And keep going. This is going to get your waist snatched. It's day two, and I'm recording this audio for this video, and I feel like a tank. My core is so hard and tight today. It's crazy. Come on. You only have 10 more seconds if you're at home. Please get this work done. You are not going to regret this workout and time all right y'all it's round six we're gonna do the repeat of the russian twist and we only have to push for 30 seconds and remember to put that weight on your ankle you won't regret it this is really really targeting your lower abdomen i know a lot of you guys trip about your fupa by the way i think a fupa sexy right so but for those of you that have had c-sections that just want to rebuild power in your lower abdomen this is an excellent way to get there keep going keep twisting we only have to do 30 seconds come on three more seconds push it at home you just hit 30 seconds if you're at home and if you can keep going keep going because i extra challenge myself suitcase that body in it's tucks right after oh my gosh i pushed i don't even know how many i did maybe i did six maybe i did ten if you're at home 
Do as many as you can. Keep it going. Oh, I was on fire. Okay, I quit. I died. <laughs> okay, guys, we're moving into round seven, and we're going to work our transverse muscle groups. This is really great for your back and your core. This is how we create an internal waistline, like an internal faja. This is how you really get your waist cinched and toughen up that uh, those love handles most of us have a problem with. This is going to get everything tight. So we're really just shooting for one entire minute. You're already 20 seconds in. Make sure you're stable. Hold on to something. If you're at home, you can use the sofa or the bench at the gym. It's really wherever you are, this can get done. Try to do it with control. See, I try to come down slowly. You work harder when you come down slowly. Keep control of that body. If you can't do the minute, still do something else into the core routine that'll bring you to that whole minute. That's what happened with me. So I'm like, oh, I'll do some scissors and try to get to that one minute. You guys, this burns really bad. This works a lot of muscles. Congrats at home if you're doing this. Round eight is all about a hold. If you don't have a weight at home, it's okay. If you do, put it on your back. Now get up into a plank position and just hold. Ideally, the weight goes lower into your back. I'm just trying to wiggle it down. Just keep on holding. If you're feeling really strong, you could actually go lower and activate more of your arms and not just your core. Remember, we're only shooting for 30 seconds. Keep holding if you're at home. Just think of it as a plank. We're almost there. And we got 30 seconds and done. Relax. This is round nine. This is a hold. This is the opposite of what we planked on the ground. So we're just going to bring ourselves up and hold for 30 seconds. It's We're just operating in the reverse. And all you have to do is hold for 30 seconds. These do not feel great, but these are going to get you really tough. My friend added a weight just so I'm cognizant of the fact that my core is engaged throughout the entire hold. Come on, if you're doing this at home, you got it. You're more than halfway there. Let's go. Let's make these deposits. Just 10 more seconds. And you are done at home. All right, guys, we're moving into round 10. This is going to require shoulders. This is really going to get your core active. I wanted to break a little sweat in, throw a little activity in. Find a hard surface you could bounce off of. Um, all you're doing is shooting for 30 seconds. This is going to require quite a bit of strength. Don't worry if you can't do it. Go to a mountain climber. That's the modification you could do at home. I find that these really activated my lower back and my core couldn't hop back and forth anymore. I just wanted to stay up there for the hold and done at home. Relax again. Round 11. This is a bear hold. You just pin yourself up. You hold. You're targeting in the core, but we're really hitting up your shoulders. You can position your feet on where you're on your toes or like the fronts of your toes is really up to you. And remember, this is just a 30 second hold. We're more than halfway there at this point. You guys, this hypercharges all of your muscle groups to get strong. So get that 30 seconds in. We're, you're done at home. Relax. Final round. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you guys have done this at home, you are going to feel amazing. We go right into a mountain climber. My mountain climbers are not fast. I keep them pretty slow. There's a reason for that. Slow is how you grow. This is how we really strengthen. And keep in mind that my upper body is holding up. So we're getting our shoulders active the whole time. Lower back is active and our legs are active through the movement. Just keep bringing it in. This is similar to a tuck, but reverse. Remember, this is a mountain climber. Now we're going to go right into hip dips. So it was 15 seconds of mountain climbers, 15 seconds of hip dips. Hip dips is really great for the obliques. It's going to cinch your waist. We're almost there. Oh, we're basically done. You guys, if you hung in there, you're a, you're a gangster. Good job. Thanks for joining. Thanks for subscribing. Let me know what you thought.